for you, the path that he predestined for you to be on. Do you understand me? There were certain people and situations that you had to encounter in order to learn certain lessons out of these people and out of these situations. Do you understand what I'm saying? That was part of your curriculum. So at the end of the day, God is instructing you, you have to understand what it is that he is trying to do for you. And in understanding what it is that he's trying to do for you, you have to step out of his way. He's instructing you to sit back and let him handle the battle. Let him fight your battles for you. Because he's telling you that the battle is not yours. That is his. And he can come through on a level and deliver this blowback and his payback to your enemies on a level that you would have never been able to deliver it on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the way and the things that he's about to bring to you, you're about to be walking like you ain't never walked before. Talking like you ain't never talked before. You're about to be moving and living, spending money that you ain't never had before. Do you understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, God is telling you to sit back and let him handle that so you don't bring further damnation to yourself and you don't hurt yourself while you're on this path carrying out missions that he needs you to carry out. Do you understand what I'm saying? Learn the lessons that he needs you to learn. He's telling you that that's all that you have to be focused on. See, the thing is, what's happening is people are realizing who you are. People are realizing who you are, like I said, as opposed to when they had full access to you and they mishandled you, and they misguided you. They misunderstood you. People didn't know that they was in the presence of greatness, sweetheart. They didn't know that they was in the presence of greatness. They didn't know what God had in store for you. They didn't know who you was going to be, the things that you was going to do, the things that you were going to have. Likewise, God didn't want these people to know because he wanted the right people to be in your life for the right reasons. Do you understand what I'm saying? God is doing things for you that you didn't have the strength to do. And a part of that is the process of elimination and weeding out these negative and toxic people out your life that was never meant to be in your life in the first place. You understand what I'm saying? But a lot of you had lessons that you needed to learn out of these people. And in you learning these lessons, he's instructing you to sit back and let him handle the rest. Sit back and let him handle that and let him make something shape. Because he is telling you that when he take you to the next level of your life, that these very same people are going to see you, but they're not going to be able to reach you. They're not going to be able to have full access to you. They won't be able to intervene, to intercept, to block, stop, and sabotage anymore. Because he is building a fence all around you. He is building a fence to protect the blessings and the things that he is bringing your way. He is building a fence all around you so that you may say the things that he needs you to say. He is building a fence all around you to keep your enemies at bay. JC, back me up. GPR, you with me. You already know what to do. If any of these messages resonate with you, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend and tell a friend to join the JC gang. Reach one, teach one. We ride together. We gonna slide together. JC gang for life. You already know what's up. He is building this fence all around you to ensure and to protect the blessings and the things that he is bringing your way, baby. And it's also to keep those very same enemies at bay. Those very same enemies that spoke certain outcomes over your life. Those very same enemies that spoke failure over your life. The very same enemies that sat back and watched you struggle and laughed in your face and behind your back. The very same enemies that didn't think that God was going to rise you up from the ashes. The very same enemies... That at the end of the day, set certain expectations for you that was very low. Only to have to end up watching you exceed not only their expectations, but God's expectations. And the expectations that the Most High had for you was set high. And you ended up exceeding those expectations. Because you are chosen. Because you are blessed and divinely favored. So God is going to make sure that your enemies cannot intercept and intervene to block and distract and sabotage you anymore. You're on a spiritual grid and that's what you didn't understand. 
That's why you was going through the, some of the things that you was going through. Everybody's path is different. No one man's path is the same. You understand what I'm saying? That's why your blessings is different. Your purpose is different. Your mission is different. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your level of anointing is different. Your spiritual rank is different. God had to place certain people on your path, as tough as it may be, as tough as it was for you, because the struggle was real. The struggle was real, but you learned through those struggles. You learned through those betrayals. You learned through that pain. Because that's how God orchestrated it to go. The whole time he was never alone and he was right there with you. He was right there with you to ensure that you will make it to the other end, that you will make it to the other side, to step into the blessings. You went through the struggles to learn lessons and he protects you along the way so you can get to the next phase so that you can enjoy the blessings that he had in store for you. He is protecting you. That is why he's telling you to sit back and let him handle that. Sit back and get out of his way and let him make something shake. Because he's not going to let your enemies have their way with you. Comment in the comment section below. How many times have God made a fool out of your enemies? How many times did he make a fool out of your enemies? They spoke things over your life and thought that you weren't going to be anything. Thought you wasn't going to make out of these situations that you were in. Only to have to sit back and watch you become something great. To watch the power that was already vested inside of you ignite. And watch you catapult. Watch God catapult you to the next level of your life. God switched up your lanes. Changed your path. Got these people off your path and he set you on a new path. Appointed you in a new position. Gave you a new season, new blessings, a new beginning. He touched everything that you put your mind to and he blessed it and he blessed it and he blessed it and he blessed it so that you would see that you weren't alone, so that you would see the power you will see his power and how he has his hand over your life. You were crying out to him. Some of y'all was crying out to God because the pain, you just felt like the pain was unbearable. At one time, at one point in time in your life, you felt like the pain was just too much to bear. And see, some of you really got down on your knees and you prayed to God to give you strength, right? God is answering prayers and bringing blessings your way that you didn't even ask him for now. Just because of how you chose to handle these situations. How many times again I ask you, did he make a fool out of your enemies? Because they're watching you. They initially, they were watching you to see these things that he spoke over you, that he was speaking over you, manifesting your life. But what ended up happening was they saw God turn everything to work in your favor and now they glued to you and they can't stop watching you. But at the end of the day, God is saying that when he take you to the next level of your life, that these people won't be able to reach you. Jesus, be a fence. All around me every day I'm asking you I want you to protect me As I travel on my way I know you will, yes Lord I know you will, JC Gang Fight your battles If you be still hmm. That's all you had to do was be still that's all he's telling you right now. Be still. Sit back and let me handle that and let me make some shape. Because how many times? That's what, that's, that's what he's asking you. That's why I'm telling you. Comment it in the comment section below. How many times did he make a fool out of your enemies? Very same people that's watching you that was laughing before. They're not, even, they're not even laughing no more. All they could do is sit back and watch you in awe and shock and regret like what I said. Because they know what they did to go against you. They, they know what they said. To have others look at you a certain type of way. 
They know what they did. These people know what they did to go against you and they had to sit back and watch everything turn around and work in your favor. They had to sit back and watch you win. They had to sit back 